Good morning, gray morning, grand rising. It's time for another day. I woke up today, so I feel good. I am a little bit tired, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. As the day go by, I wake up. So right now, I'm picking up a load from uh, Pepsi. I'm getting in door 19. That's the easiest door to get in. And listen, man, I was putting on these gloves. I had such, shout out to the shout out to the subscriber in the comments section because he was telling me I was putting my gloves on backwards. For some reason, I wasn't paying attention that these are that I'm supposed to put the gloves on this way for the best grip. That's why it's so dirty on this side because my crazy ass was putting it on this way. <laughs> but um, I just came out of the shipping office, so I'm, I'm assigned the door. I literally just got here, so I wasn't even in the shipping office for more than two minutes, three minutes tops. I was in and out. Um, this will be going to, this, uh, once it get loaded, it's going to be going to Horseheads, New York. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stay overnight in Horseheads, New York, in the hotel. And then when I get up the next, that following morning, we're going to go to Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're going to drop off the load. Alright man, we're loaded. I'm gonna connect my lines back and remove those wheel chocks so that way I can pull up out of here and seal up the um seal up the door. So I decided I'm gonna pull it out the doors and pull it out the lock because there's uh, those barriers that be by the, um, the docks and I didn't want to um, open it and then my door, I, won't, I, I wouldn't be able to clear it because the doors will pretty much hit the barriers so I just had to wait until I pulled all the way out to do that. And my load looks good. I always want to make sure I have one of those. That's just to protect the load from shifting around and possibly, possibly breaking. I like these doors a lot better because they don't give me no problems and they latch pretty easily. I don't have to fight it like I do the other ones. I wish all the, all the uh, trailer doors would latch like this, but they don't, but it's cool.
So we made it to uh, Pepsi out in Horseheads upstate. Got a little bit nice out here. Wasn't expecting it to be like this. But uh, man, it feels good to stretch my legs. I just drove straight through. I didn't stop for no bathroom break, nothing. I had water, I had snacks. So I just wanted to get straight here. That way I don't get here too late. It's 2.30. Normally I get here around two o'clock, 2.05ish. So let's just see where they want me to put this, put this load at. And here we are with another tour. Big, man, this warehouse is mad huge. Got everything in here. The only thing they don't have in here is Coke. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet if they do. But man, oh man, they got everything here. All types of vitamin waters and sodas and energy drinks, juices. And you already know I gotta stop and use the restroom. Five hours is a long time to hold it. And then we're gonna throw it in the door. They told me to go throw it in door 14, so that's the door I'm gonna throw it in when I'm done using the restroom. So, once again, they put me in door 14. So, that's just the door I'm going in. I haven't been in these doors in a long time, and normally those doors are the doors I get in when I come here real early. I'm just gonna pretty much open this when I get around to door 14. On the way in, there was already someone in door 14, but they should be going out because it looked like they was leaving, but they could have been coming in too. So we'll see. So now we are in the door, so let's back this bad boy up, and hopefully I can get up in there real good this time. So I just pulled out the door. It's now 3.30, so I was here for approximately an hour. And there's door 14 right there, that crazy door. It's safe to say that for now when I come here, I'm pretty much going to be in door either door 14 or 15. So I have an empty trailer now, so now this trailer is going to stay empty for the night. I know in the beginning of the video I said I was supposed to be picking up a load, but I meant to tell you guys. I'm not picking it up now, I'll be picking up that load in the morning. So right now I'm on, em I'm on empty, I'm on E. <laughs> and I'm going to go grab some food that I can take to the hotel, go check into my room. and. Get some relaxation, you know what I'm saying? And until tomorrow, just want to double check. That's close. And then, uh, yeah, just get some relaxation until tomorrow. And in the morning after I eat breakfast, I'm going to go to Pennsylvania to pick up that load and then bring that load to Massachusetts. So let's get it. They have good food, pretty decent food in here. So I wanna go in here. This is normally what I do when I uh, stay out this way. I come to this, uh... come on. So I come in here and I grab food because it's close, you know, it's closer. And they have great sandwiches, they have hot food, they have wraps, they have burgers. Even though I don't eat that stuff, but I, I would get a sandwich. And this is where the trucks park, right back here. Thank you. Oh, it's packed in here. 
Sure, buddy, I'll grab one. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that kind of beer. All right, so what do I want? See, the food is all over here. I'm just thinking about a drink, I'm thirsty. But they have, see, that's the food, dandies. But they have the kiosk where you order it on the kiosk. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order my sandwich on the kiosk. Um, but first and foremost, I do want a drink. I don't drink soda. The, the only soda I would drink, do drink, is the champagne cola and um, ginger ale when I'm hungover. <laughs> it just always does the trick. probably get yellow Gatorade bottle of water and now let's go order my food I I changed my mind I'm also thinking about some salt and vinegar chips because you can't eat a sandwich without chips I mean you could that's on you but I refuse. But I'm looking for a specific kind of salt and vinegar chips. I'm looking for the Lay's. And they just have the big ones. That's too much chips. Too many chips. I would settle for Uts, but they don't have it either. Well, they got still mad big. I don't know you guys, I don't think I'm getting my chips. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, they got more chips up there. Good thing I looked over here. All right, all right, what we got, what we got, what we got over here, what we got? Oh, white cheddar, huh? Too bad they don't got the hot, the hot, the hot cheddar ones. Them shits be smacking. I don't see no small lays. I see kettle. I see the kettle. Kettle sea salt. So I'm gonna grab these to go with my sandwich. All right, let's go order my food. Food. Subs. I think I'll do a hot one this time. The Philly cheese steak. Let's get a whole one. And place my order. And now I just wait for they call my number and I'll go to the register and pay. So I got my sandwich and I got all the rest of my food and drinks in there. I put some napkins in there. So now we are good to go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be eating good tonight, guys. <laughs> because the hotel I'm going to, it's the same one where it has that, that Mexican restaurant in there. But the Mexican food at that restaurant is gross. Man, I'm telling you, that shit is gross. It doesn't matter what I get. I tried tacos from there two different times. It was gross. I tried um, a chimichanga. It was better than the tacos, but it still was nothing I would eat again. The nachos are the only thing that's good. That's because the nachos is, is the appetizer. <laughs> and it comes with the salsa dip. And then I also tried the enchilada there, and it was gross too. So that's one of those places where if I really, really have to eat from there, then I will. And at this point, I don't have to.
finally made it in the room. Today was easy peasy. It was real smooth. It's a great day, man. Can't complain about today. It went by pretty good. It didn't drag. I didn't have no issues. Um, my load was good. I was able to get em uh, emptied out. And you know what I'm saying? I'm here nice and, you know, I ain't going to say early, but I'm here good at a good time, reasonable time. You know, a lot, most of the time I'm coming back here around five. You know, I got it here before five. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice king size, you know. So I'm about to eat my food. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to go beat that gym up. And then I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see y'all in the morning for breakfast. And I'm going to go pick up this load and drop it off. Let's go. Good morning, good morning, YouTube. It is now day two. Um, I had an amazing sleep. I did not want to get up like, um, this morning. It just felt so good in the blankets, so good being, you know, nice and toasty, but not too toasty, you know. It just was comfortable, you know. Um, I did go to the breakfast room. However, they didn't have any bacon, So, I, and the eggs they had were, they didn't have no hot boiled eggs. I didn't like how the eggs looked. Um, I didn't want to eat any, any waffles because it's time consuming to, to make it. Not only, not even just that, um, the syrup is, it has so much sugar in it. And I was just trying to have maybe some toast and some bacon and some hard boiled eggs and a coffee. I couldn't have none of that. <laughs> none of that was there. So, um, what I'm going to do is when I go fuel up the truck, I'm going to grab some breakfast at the, um, gas station because they have food there. They have hard boiled eggs there. Um, I did end up grabbing some cranberry juice and an apple. So let's get up in this truck, man, and let's get our day started. And just like that, I got a door. Man, I'm so comfortable right now. I feel snug. My hoodie smells so good from the laundry that my lady does. So I'm in door 23, which is down there with the rest of those trucks. This is the first time I've been here where it's just a lot of trucks. I haven't seen these many trucks since I've been coming here. But at the same time, I only have been here about a few times. This is maybe about my fourth time coming here. Oh, slow down, man. Yo. Alright. 
Okay, he's picking up that trailer. I got it. I'll be out your way in a minute, man. So, let's go get in this door. So I'm in the door. I'm still on green right now. I didn't go red yet, but that's fine with me. So what I'm gonna do now is just get my, um, my next stop ready in my GPS. I'm gonna eat my apple. I'm gonna get all my paperwork together so that way when I leave here, I got all my paperwork together. And so when I drop off this, uh, when I dropped off this load back at the yard, everything's together and I'm not scrambling around for nothing. And I could just park the, uh, drop the trailer, park the truck, and I could just be on my way home. So yeah, man, I'm gonna just do that right now until this load is ready. So I had to pull out my truck because there's a lot of trucks in the door. And um, the way that the doors open in the back, it would have been impossible for me to get out the, to uh, open my doors while already in the door. I also seen um, another, another driver from, from my company. He's also here. And he, uh, he's in the, in the sleeper berth. He's in the sleeper berth, so I'll set it up to him, talk to him, talk to him real briefly. Yep, yeah, it's getting warmer out, so you already know this sweater gotta come off. So what we got in there this time? So we got the same thing. So, so spritz water. Making sure we locked up on the top and the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and put this lock on. All right, we're locked and secured. Locked and loaded. So we are good to go. Yeah, I, I turned out this way because there's two trucks down there that's trying to um, get in their doors and then I just don't want to be all up in that area. I'm gonna have all my space right here. This has been another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. I hope you're taking something from my videos. I hope you are learning. Hope you are entertained. I hope you just really enjoy it because I do this not only because I enjoy doing this, but I also do this so you could get a glimpse on what it's like to drive trucks. And granted, every truck driver driver is not going to have the same job. They're not going to operate the same. They're not going to do, they, do things the same. But for a new driver coming in or someone who just is curious on what it's like when people drive trucks, you know, these are, this is the type of video I make. So, yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed the ride. I will see y'all in the next video.